Hey, hey, what is shaking, homies? Today, we got the Overwatch Balasong up for an unboxing and review. This was $11 on Ally Express. It is uh, quite the hilarious little novelty, so let's take a look. All right, so check it out, guys. Today, we have the Overwatch Balasong. It says, Game Gifts Big Run. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. On the bottom, it says, World Competition. Not for children under the years of three. This classic cartoon fine jewelry. What the hell what kind of broken English is that? Best, let's fight together. <laughs> Look at this. So I personally have never played Overwatch, um, but I figured it's a very popular game, and this was only $11 off AliExpress. I'll put the link down below. So I thought I'd go ahead and check it out. About a year ago, I checked out the Naruto Balasong, and this one appears to be almost the exact same thing, just printed differently. On the, it's a sandwich style, it's very thin when we compare it next to, and very small all in general, when we compare it next to a normal sized valley. I mean, this is just, okay, and as you can see, it is a trainer blade, so you will not get hurt using it. <laughs> it's very, very poor tolerances, um, but once again, oh man, <laughs> it's almost, it's like hard to do anything with it. But we'll, uh, we'll do a little more flipping here in a second when I have more room. As you can see, it's very constructed very oddly. I've never quite seen pins like this. They're hidden on that side. I'm really concerned on how the hell this thing even goes together. Same thing down here on the bottom. Uh, the blade is kind of, kind of cool actually. It's, I mean, it's so thin it's hard to tell. But it's actually crowned all the way around too, so that that's pretty cool. Uh, we get a balance point that's eh, right right about there ish. This thing is so small though that it's hard to like until I really give it some more flips. I won't know if that is a uh, good or if, what. Um, but just ugh, this is gonna definitely gonna take a second to get used to. <laughs> See this when I close it too. Look at look at that. <laughs> and I don't, I mean, I don't even know if it's possible to take the latch off. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go where we got a little more room. <laughs> we can, uh, jingle this, uh, latch around. All right, so, doesn't that just sound beautiful? It actually, when you close this, it's got, it does have a, <laughs> kind of a nice little ring to it. It makes, um, just, <laughs> ugh. Ugh, man. Okay, so this thing doesn't have a lot of things going for it. I mean, it's so skinny that it's it's hard to get it to maneuver in your hands. Um, it's so short, too, that same type of thing. Um, the tolerances are so bad that I, nothing feels quite nice at all. Like, it's even hard to aerial just because of the weight distribution of this thing. Ugh. But I could see, though, if you're a fan of Overwatch, um, for 10 bucks, I mean, it's kind of more of like a little collector's item than anything. But if you're a Balasong player and you want to, you know, you want to <laughs> do some valley tricks with it, it really is a piece of junk. Like, this thing is, um, I can't think of, just from the minute I'm playing with it here, I can't find any tricks that it's, like, actually good at. Um, that, you know, everything is just... Heart well, latch drops are pretty easy. They sound really nice. <laughs> okay, so that's all it has going for it, is latch drops. Um, even, yeah, ugh, normally I can aerial like every try, but this thing is just weighted so weird, and the mix with the shortness, the tolerances, and how skinny it is, uh, yeah, it's just hard to time, hard to grip, uh, <laughs> really hard to do pretty much anything. So I would definitely pass on this uh, if you're, uh, you know, a Balasong flipper or somebody you want a good trainer, good good Balasong to learn some tricks on. Definitely pass. But if you were just like a diehard Overwatch fan, you know, you just want a collector's item, pick it up. You know, throw it on your bookshelf or something, um, display it, do whatever you want with it. But yeah, definitely more of a novelty than uh, than it has functionality. Uh, that is absolutely for sure. For just giggles, let's see how. Oh man. That's physically impossible. Can't even get started on a behind the eight ball. Well, I almost did it actually. But yeah, this thing is just makes everything a challenge. Um, 
oh man, yeah, even just like rolling it, uh, well, there we go. But even just like rolling it around, <laughs> like like maneuvered, simple maneuvers, just feels so awkward with how smooth it is on one side. There's like no grip at all. And it's just so small and skinny. I bet you I could just snap this thing, uh, no problem. But I think I'm probably gonna end up giving this away. So I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna break it. Uh, I'll probably just give it to someone, you know, one of the kids at the gym or something. But yeah, actually fans, not that bad. I'm not very good at fanning though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely, tricks are doable, but I mean, you gotta deal with, you gotta deal with stuff like that. Like, I mean, come on now. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I would not recommend buying it if you're looking for a good valley. Uh, if you're, you know, a collector though, go ahead and check it out. The link will be down below. I appreciate the support, and until next time, I'll see you later.